Hi, I'm Paul Reiners. I live in Minnesota. This is my CS50X project. It's called Quadra Quadrillionth Decimal Place. So, what is a millionth digit of pi? Well, three guys, Bailey, Borwine, and Floof, came up with an interesting formula for it. Um, it allows you to compute the nth hexadecimal digit of pi for any n. And the really amazing thing about it is that it does this without competing any of the preceding digits. You just go out there and you just snatch any digit you want without doing any of the getting any of the digits before that. And I implemented this in C for my project. So what is the million text decimal digit of pi? Well, let's switch over to the CS50 appliance, which I really like a lot. Um, Here's a bit of the code, but I don't have time to go into it in detail right now. But anyway, let's find out what it is. This takes about nine seconds usually. It's pretty fast, I think. Um, going out right out to that millionth digit, not doing any digits before that. Just going to snatch that millionth digit. And the millionth text decimal digit of pi is two. And here's a few other digits after that. And it took about 11 seconds. Okay, so. A little bit longer than usual. So that was my project. I wish I had more time to explain it, but I've got a lot of documentation. You can get it from GitHub, and I've also got links in my documentation to the original papers by Bailey Borwan and Fluff. Um, CS50 is a great CS50X is a great class to take. I highly recommend it. Very good instructors. Very good teaching fellows. Um, even if you already think you know a lot about computer science, or even if you already do know a lot about computer science, you should take this refresher. It's very good. And if you don't know a lot about computer science, then it's probably even more fun. Um, so this is my CS50X final project. Thank you very much.